This film shows you the working of a particular type of mechanical speech recognizer. The recognizer, in its present form, is assembled on the racks that you see here. The speech input is coming from the tape replay unit on the left. Shooter, shishi, shirker, martyr, market. The final output is provided by the electrically operated typewriter that you can see in the middle. Loom, lurk, loon, learn, tarn, turn, soon. The following diagrams show the principles of operation and the component parts of the machine. The sounds are recognized by combining information from two sources. The acoustical analyzer examines the characteristics of the speech wave. The store of linguistic knowledge gives information about diagram frequencies. Every time a speech sound is fed into the machine, the computer combines the two types of information and decides what sound is to be recognized. It then instructs the typewriter to type the appropriate symbol. The primary or acoustic analysis, which is here shown in detail, depends on conventional frequency analysis of the input. Twenty adjacent filters are used to make this analysis. The occurrence of a given speech sound is associated with maximum output in a particular pair of filters. You can see from this diagram, for instance, that the sound M is linked with filters 2 and 4. The vowel sound, R, is linked with numbers 7 and 10, and so on for the other sounds. The acoustic recognition is carried out by multiplying together the outputs of the two filters. The maximum detector selects the greatest of the products produced in this way. The space detector is a straightforward timing device which registers when the speech input ceases for more than a specified time. This diagram shows the operation of the store of linguistic knowledge, which provides information about diagram frequencies. Let us suppose that the machine has already recognized the vowel R and is now dealing with the next sound. The linguistic store produces a set of output voltages that are proportional to the probabilities of the different speech sounds following the vowel R. Each of these probability voltages is led to the appropriate acoustic recognizer and is there multiplied by the product of the two filter outputs. In this way, the output of each multiplying circuit is the product of three factors, the two filter outputs and the probability voltage. The maximum detector selects the biggest of these products and so determines the symbol produced by the typewriter. When a sound has been recognized, the machine has to remember what the sound was in order to apply the right set of probability voltages for the next sound, and so the machine contains a memory circuit which controls the linguistic store. Now here again is the apparatus which carries out these various operations. On the first rack is the tape deck which provides the speech input. Marshal, mana, meter, mika. Below the tape deck are amplifiers and power packs. And the next rack on the right carries the bank of 20 filters that are needed for the acoustical analysis. On the third rack are the multipliers. And here is a close-up view of these circuits. Each channel carries the multipliers associated with one sound. In addition, you can see on the left a different type of circuit needed to recognize the stop consonants, and below this is the space detector circuit. 
Here we see how linguistic knowledge is stored. The adjustment of these potentiometers gives information about diagram frequencies. Whenever a sound has been recognized, a column of potentiometers is energized and their sliders provide the voltages proportional to the sequential probabilities of occurrence of all these sounds. The memory that actually triggers the linguistic store is shown below. It comprises a number of identical circuits, each of which is operated by the recognition of a specific sound. The keys of the electric typewriter that you see here are operated by solenoids mounted above them. Since the machine is recognizing a sequence of sounds, we shall not expect the output to look very much like conventional English spelling, which is not very phonetic. We are now going to end the film by showing you a sample of the output of the machine in simplified spelling. Ta, teat, teak, team, calm, keel, keen, toot. Seam, seen, suit, shark, meek, meal, mean, moot, lean, loot, loose. Loom, tartan, teeter, t-shirt, tina, keener, cooler, cocoon, cursor, surcies, sassoon, Salam, salute, marshal, mana, meter, meeker, curtain, turtle, certain, carnal, mercy, Mercer, the end.